What is up, guys? This is Chris with Leveling Up Your Finance, and I noticed today we're going to be talking about something a little different because I noticed that I've been just doing like crypto and then crypto for beginners when I haven't really been talking about the basics of finance altogether, and uh, that's pretty important. That's the whole point I started the YouTube page anyways, so let's just do some basic finance because you shouldn't be investing in crypto if you don't understand basic finance. Anyways, seven ways to invest a hundred thousand dollars this could be ten thousand dollars this could be one thousand dollars it all kind of applies uh found this on good financial sense go check it out if you want um he also has a youtube page really good guy uh seems awesome um i think he's a veteran too so that's cool but basically jeff rose he's an actual certified financial planner uh so take his word for it not mine because i'm just an idiot on youtube don't take any financial advice from me go talk to jeff he's probably way smarter than me a hundred times like uh, way definitely can yeah so seven ways so they're talking about how nobody basically has enough money for retirement so we're just going to skip all that boring crap uh because you know none of us have saved as much as we probably should here's kind of like the table of contents so we're going to get into stocks real estate cryptocurrency uh businesses gold 401ks and a trust so we're probably just going to skip these two so this should just be top five because these are boring <laughs> i'm just kidding all right, so how to invest $100,000 starting today. Again, this could be 1000 This could be 100 bucks. Who knows? Whatever you have, start. As a financial advisor, I personally suggest diversifying 100000 across many types of investments that can help you reach your goals. Here are seven ways you can invest, uh, five ways, uh, 100000 starting right now. Number one, invest in stocks. This is obviously pretty obvious. It's always about stocks, number one. How much you should invest, 40 to 50% of your portfolio. I have probably about 75. I don't really care. I have a lot in stocks, uh, but it's for long-term growth. So this isn't the hump or was it hype, hype? You don't want to do the pump and dumps. Uh, you're just getting into some solid stocks or ETFs, indexes, whatever it is. And it's for long-term growth. So remember that you're not just trying to make a million dollars by tomorrow. It would be nice though. So the risk varies depending on the stocks you do. Uh, the average stock market return has fallen somewhere between 7% uh, per year and 10% per year. Right now, it's way below that. Uh, but for the average, it probably still averages out relatively the same because we've had some amazing years. Um, so we just happen to be in a, bo a bear market right now, and it just kind of sucks. So this year might have crappy returns, but next year, the following years probably look a lot better. The Dow Industrial Average brought in about 18.6 return in 2021. So see, whatever we were getting last year, we lost this year. Uh, he has a recommendation for Betterment. He probably gets a little commission if you use it. Um, if you want to go check it out, I'll put the article and the, the details and you can click on it. I've never actually used Betterment. I did do a, a video on it a long time ago. You can look at the pros and cons real quick if you want. Uh, I did a video on it, I don't know, a few years ago when it first came out. And uh, I haven't looked at it because I don't do I do mostly hands-on investing so i don't really need it but it's for those people that want to be hands off and just lazy so yeah go check it out if you're a lazy person that's fine so invest in real estate as well uh number two i have a rental property i'm maybe getting a second one here pretty quick hopefully this one turns into one we'll see maybe not i'm just probably gonna sell this house but it could be invest 10 to 15 percent of your portfolio this is for long-term growth and diversification uh, and the risk level is medium. You always have the potentials of tenants ruining your place. You have things like the pandemic where they stop people literally legally could stop paying you rent. There's all sorts of ways that it could be very risky. I mean, fires, plumbing, anything. Uh, I have yet to have an issue with my uh, rental property, but that's knocking on wood because I'll probably have one this week. That's how that happens. So if you want, you can always invest in residential or commercial real estate. Uh, you can also pur purchase properties, becoming a landlord, or you can invest in things like real estate with a hands-off approach. You can do uh, real estate trust or REITs, um, like Fundrise, I guess, as a type of REIT. I've looked into, again, this years ago. It used to be you had to at least invest 500, uh, so that's why I never got into it, and they had a little bit higher fees. But now it looks like you can just re invest in 10. So again, you can check them out if you want, or, or I can do a video on it if you like. And here's like the differences of their starter packs or whatever. Um, you want to go for premium, I'm sure, because that gets you everything. But guess what? None of us are going to do it. Even though it's 100000 probably none of us will do it. So, <laughs> note that in 2021, Fundrise brought in investors an average uh, rate of 22.99%. But you could basically have got that in the stock market on your own anyway. So, 
Another one, check out Realty Mogul if you want. I don't really care. Don't know anything about them. Fundrise is ideal for investors who want exposure to real estate without having to own physical property. Again, this is like a company that does it, but you can always buy REITs just right on the, the exchanges. There's many out there. Research them. I think O was a really good one if I remember correctly, uh, but go check it out if you want. So this is the one I've been doing a lot lately, invest in cryptocurrency number three. Uh, I definitely agree, invest 5% of your portfolio at max. Mine is considerably higher because I've had really decent returns the past few years. Uh, and I'm not just going to stop investing or rebalancing. I'm just going to keep holding and adding to it. So my, my, my portfolio has changed. It's not the way it should be. I probably should rebalance, but I'm not going to. Uh, the purpose is diversification and long-term growth. Again, stay away from the pump and dumps. There's plenty of them out there. You've seen them. You've heard about them. I've covered a couple in the videos. Um, just be smart. You want to do this for the long term. Uh, and the risk level is high, obviously. It's very speculative. And uh, cryptocurrency is like the wild, wild west still. Uh, it's definitely a gamble, so be careful. Investing in a digital currency like Bitcoin or Ethereum can help you diversify your portfolio while positioning for long-term growth. Many experts believe that despite the high values of some crypto investments, this industry is still at its beginning stages. And that's why I think it's important because it is at the beginning stages. Because if we were already in this 100 years and it's like you're, you're just buying at the top, right now is the time to get in. Again, it's a gamble, so be safe and be smart. Uh, only invest in coins that actually have potential, not hype and pump and dumps. And definitely don't invest in anything that people on YouTube or Twitter are telling you to invest in because we're all idiots. And don't take financial advice from us. This means you could potentially get into crypto on ground floor and receive huge returns over time. See, that's exactly what I just did. Of course, the opposite is also true. Again, yeah, you could lose everything. Cryptocurrency is incredibly volatile so far as you can just as easily lose all part uh, of your investment. So I'm going to tell you now, you're going to lose all your investment. If you still think it's a good idea, go for it. But you will lose all of your investment. So now if you don't, hey, it's a bonus, right? Uh, BlockFi, <laughs> he gets BlockFi, so I'm sure, again, he gets commission from it. I use BlockFi personally because of their, they have a credit card that uh, gets you rewards, and I love using credit cards to pay for everything because it's an easy way to keep track of stuff, and I love free rewards. Just make sure you pay it off every month and don't pay interest. That's the whole point. So you can check it out if you want. Um, they used to also do really good for like um, interest on like staking your stuff, but th I think they stopped doing that because it was illegal in America. I don't know. Um, that part kind of sucks, but whatever. All right. So again, cryptocurrency is very volatile, so make sure you have money to lose before you invest. However, crypto is still a smart choice for long-term investors who want to diversify their $100,000 as much as they can. Here's some uh, pros and cons. Number four, buy a business. I like this one too. However, I don't want to run a business. So it's not on my top. I would say four for sure. So how much do you need? It really varies depending on the business it is. Um, I do reselling on the side sometimes when I have time, uh, I basically have no money in it and it's free and i just make a lot of money when I actually do it. And then I just use that to YOLO into crypto. <laughs> uh, this is for long-term growth and the risk level varies again, depends on the business. Many experts, including, uh, Jeff believe the best way to build long-term wealth is through entrepreneurship and owning your own business. And I agree after all, you can only earn so much when you work for someone else. Yes. A hundred percent. As an entrepreneur, the sky is truly the limit when it comes to bringing in cash. And if you can find one process that turns a profit and you can replicate it, you can earn millions of dollars even while you sleep. If you don't believe this can work, I'm living proof and I have millions of dollars with the website alone. So he does, uh, he started with a blog, I think, and now he does YouTube and podcasts and all that cool stuff. But a hundred percent. The only problem I do have with businesses is it's a lot of work, a lot of work, which is fine because that's how, it, yeah, it's fine, but. You guys take it as you will. Uh, there's really easy ways to get into it. You can do a franchise or you can build a business from scratch. You can go to things like Flippa.com and uh, get small business ideas from there or buy. Um, it's a platform where you can use and sell products. There's all sorts of ways to do businesses, guys. Um, you can go to a broker and buy a business off of them because uh, some people are just trying to get out. Uh, there's all sorts of ways. So pros and cons again. Go check them out if you want to. Invest in gold. This one I disagree with because gold is boring. Invest 10 to 15% of your portfolio in alternative investments, including gold. Um, purpose is just for diversification, and then the risk is medium. 
Many experts suggest investing part of your portfolio into gold or precious metals as a hedge against inflation. This is mostly based on the fact that as prices rise, the price of gold tends to rise right along with the cost of living. Um, no, I don't, <laughs> I don't agree with that at all. Uh, it, gold has not moved very much, even with this bear market. It has not changed much, but everyone in the past has always said get into the gold. Uh, I think that's kind of outdated now, but that's just my personal opinion, and it has been for decades. I just don't see it anymore. And plus, gold, if you're actually going to buy physical gold and hold it, uh, there's a security issue first. Don't tell anybody you're doing it. Definitely don't let anyone know where it's hidden. Uh, and then when you want to change it, like say you need to go buy bread someday in a post-apocalyptic world, what are you going to do? You're just going to hand them a nugget of gold? Like, I just don't see that happening at all. Um, it, at this point, you might as well just have bottles of whiskey hanging around your house because guess what? When the, when the shit hits the fan, whiskey's going to be more precious than freaking gold, in my opinion. Uh, fiat currencies are out. I don't know. Maybe we won't. We got hit by an EMP or something. We can't even get our uh, Bitcoin, which is digital gold. I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen? So if you're going to do it, do it very small. Uh, I think if anything, if you're going to do precious metals, silver might be a better option because it's cheaper. It's easier. Uh, it actually has uses. I mean, they use it in the medical field. They use it more than gold, I believe, in um, even with like motherboards or electric because uh, it's electric, yeah, electricity properties, that type of stuff. Um, so I don't know. This is what's really up to you guys. Let me know what you think, and you can always comment down below and tell me what you're going to do. Uh, if you want to look at some of this stuff again, I'm going to put the article in there. If you really want to do something like a 401k, I definitely agree. If, if you have one, a solo 401k is if you're working on your own. But this should be one of your tops. Like if you have a 401k or an IRA, that type of thing, that should be one of your top investments as well um, for the long term. Because someday you need to retire. You're going to get old and crippled and you can't even work. Or you're just going to get old. Like all of us, we're just going to get old. So you want to have a 401k set up. But that is, there's a lot to it. There's different types. There's IRAs. There's TSP. There's all sorts of different stuff. So we can do a, our own video on that if you want. All right, guys. So what are your top five? Comment down below and let me know. Or if you agree with anything I said, cool. If not, comment down below and let me know. It'd be great to uh, get some criticism. At the end of the day, guys, remember to stay awesome and keep loving each other. Like I love gold. And well, I don't. So don't do that. Later.